When we open the encoding setting in the settings of the YOLO box main interface, we can see three different rate control settings, CBR, CQ, and VBR. What do these three concepts mean? What are their respective advantages and disadvantages? This video will delve into CBR, CQ, and VBR, as well as their differences, to help you choose the rate control setting that best suits your needs. Before understanding these three setting options, we need to first understand what bitrate is. Bitrate refers to the amount of video data per second, measured in bits. In the stream encoding settings, we see that the current bitrate is set to 4,000 kbps, which means the program or video sources have 4,000 kbps of data per second. So, what are the differences in videos with different bit rates? In fact, with the same resolution, a higher bit rate for the same encoded video means better quality. Higher resolution videos require higher bit rates to ensure clarity. Based on this, let's first understand VBR, CBR, and CQ in simple terms. They are different methods of managing bit rate. If we liken data volume to water flow, CBR maintains a constant setting keeping water flow unchanged regardless of variations in video content like water flowing through a fixed pipe at a constant rate. VBR adjusts water flow dynamically based on the complexity of the video content. It increases flow for complex scenes and decreases it for simpler ones to save resources. CQ aims to maintain consistent picture quality throughout, regardless of content complexity, akin to ensuring water clarity remains unaffected by external factors. Firstly, compared to CQ, CBR, and VBR are more commonly encountered. If you are a video editor, you will come across these two concepts in editing software, and they are often discussed together. CBR stands for constant bitrate, which means it has a fixed value, whereas VBR stands for variable bitrate, which fluctuates. So, what is constant and what is variable? For example, when exporting a video, if we set it to export with CBR, the bitrate remains the same throughout the export process regardless of the richness of colors or the overall complexity of the video. This means that the encoding process uses a unified, fixed value. This approach can lead to an issue. If the video contains both static and dynamic content, the clarity of the exported video may differ from the original. The layers within the video might appear more pronounced because the same fixed value is used for encoding all content, even though the complexity of the content varies. Compared to CBR, VBR has more pronounced advantages in this aspect. During the encoding process, for instance, if we encounter a program that contains both static images and dynamic video, VBR will encode the static images at a lower bit rate. Conversely, when it encounters a more complex scene with vibrant colors, VBR will automatically encode at a higher bit rate. The result is that the contrast between the quality of static and dynamic scenes will not be as strong, and the overall clarity of the video will be higher than with CBR. This is because VBR uses different values for encoding, producing better results. By now, you might have a grasp of the pros and cons of CBR and VBR. However, at this point, you might think that CBR doesn't have any advantages. That's not the case. If your video is a conference recording, where the dynamic range and color complexity of the visuals aren't very demanding and there are fewer distracting elements, then CBR is actually more recommended. Why? Given that the complexity of the video is low, using a stable bitrate for encoding means that the exported video's size and clarity will be consistent. CQ stands for no control over bitrate at all. Its full name is constant quality, and as the name suggests, it aims to ensure the highest possible image quality in the video. At first glance, constant quality and constant bitrate, which is the full name of CBR, might seem like closely related concepts. Is this really the case? We already know that when there are dynamic elements in the video, CBR will always encode the video at a fixed value. Compared to CBR, CQ has higher variability. To elaborate, CQ continuously monitors changes in the video and automatically increases the bit rate to compensate for complex motion. However, when the video content is simpler, it reduces the bit rate to save space. This uncertainty is reflected in the final exported video file size. In other words, we cannot predict how large the resulting video file will be. With CBR, however, this is not a concern because the bitrate remains constant, ensuring a consistent and calculable file size. Here, to help everyone better understand this statement, let me add a bit more. 
First, it's important to note that KB is a common unit for measuring file size, and KB values are different from bitrate values. The calculation of KB values is obtained by dividing the bitrate value by 8. For example, a video with a bitrate of 4,000 kbps translates to approximately 500 kdb per second. So if this 4,000 kbps video is 3 minutes long, earlier we determined it's about 500 kdb per second, multiplying 500 kb per second by the video's duration of 180 seconds, we find the video's size is 90,000 kb, which is approximately 87.9 mini dB. Now let's return to CQ. When CQ is categorized as dynamic bitrate, it implies that its bitrate operates within a range of values rather than a single fixed number. This complexity extends to other visual parameter settings. In this sense, how should we specifically understand the relationship between bitrate and video quality? What is the optimal approach for setting it? If we imagine a complete video file as a cup, such as MP4 or MOV, then inside it are two small blocks representing the video track and audio track. The cup itself represents the container format, responsible for packaging the video and audio into a single file. Video and audio each have their own bitrate, and the total bitrate of the video refers to the sum of the video bitrate and audio bitrate per second. The process of combining video and audio into a single file is called video encoding. This encoding process follows certain rules known as encoding standards, with H.264 and H.265 being the two video encoding standards currently supported by YOLOBOX. Within these standards, VBR, CBR, and CQ are three different encoding methods available for setting how video and audio are encoded. Bitrate is not necessarily better the higher it goes. Beyond a certain point, the human eye struggles to discern better quality, yet the video file size continues to increase with higher bit rates. This phenomenon is known as the law of diminishing returns for bitrate. In YOLOBOX products, the maximum bit rates vary depending on the resolution. Specifically, Ultra supports a maximum bit rate of 30,000 kbps at 4K resolution. Pro supports up to 8,000 kbps at 1080p resolution. And Mini supports up 8,000 kbps at 1080p resolution. Secondly, for Ultra users, H.265 is currently applicable to all video recording but there are certain limitations for live streaming. Specifically, H.265 is not supported for streaming to Facebook and Twitch due to platform limitations. Additionally, if you are an Ultra user, you can also record video in monitor mode. Recording video in monitor mode means you can set the maximum bitrate value up to 100,000 kbps at 4K resolution. Please ensure that YOLOBOX meets your expectations for the desired video or live streaming quality. Of course, while theory is important, practical experience matters more. The most suitable visual settings can vary from person to person, so it's essential for us to determine them through repeated trial and adjustment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest tech insights. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. If you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 13735 812589. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 13735 812589. See you in the next video.